Hello, I am Cesar the Vampire. Welcome to another week of fashion for vampires. This week we're gonna do something a little bit different. Today we'll be looking at the top five looks of the week. You know, we'll be looking at several celebrities, politicians, actors, actresses, whatever you wanna call them. Just people of importance. I'm just gonna rate my personal top five favorite fits of the week, basically. Number one, Number one, we have my favorite person ever and my lover, Alice Pagani. She is the lead actress on the show Baby on Netflix and everyone knows if you've been following my channel, you've been following my page, my IG, the Snapchat, the other social medias, you know, I'm literally obsessed with Alice Pagani. Like she's, she's my girlfriend in my head, but you know, we're gonna keep that conversation for another day. But her necklace was a, Bulgari, but with a V. It's like this um, Italian brand that sells custom necklaces for women. Supreme gemstones, breathtaking craftsmanship, and modern and vibrant designs is the slogan for Bulgari with a V. I'm just gonna call it that because we have another, you know, spoiler, but we have another, you know, appearance of this brand in our top five, which is actually the next outfit I'm gonna discuss. Her dress is a New York based woman's clothing brand called Prisk, Prisca Vera. I'm assuming it's Priscav Era because usually when I go on their Instagram page, they're usually capitalizing the first part of the sentence and then the error is usually like in lowercase. So sorry for butchering the name, but it's a New York based woman's wear brand here. Number two on the list. We have my other lover, Esther Exposito. She is one of the lead actresses on the show Elite. It's also a Netflix original. It's an amazing show. The next season is coming up. Make sure you watch out for that. It, it really does, you know, embody like the supermodel look in a way, you know. This pantsuit without anything on the inside and her necklace, by the way, is the same brand as my other lover, Alice Pagani, the Balgari or Bulgari necklace. She put that together with the Duce and Gabbana suit that she got and it really does showcase, you know, her supermodel-like features. Like, she is more of a model than an actress to me because, I mean, most of her Instagram posts are, you know, some crazy fashion brand in Italy or in, or in Spain or in, she's somewhere in the UK doing some shoot for some brand or something. Like, she is really amazing and a beautiful woman, by the way. Number three, on the random model from Vetiment. I mean, I don't really know her name, but I just, I just kind of fell in love with this outfit because everyone that knows me, they know I love all black. And this outfit was just stellar. I mean, this, it screams cozy. And that's all, that's what I'm all about, man. I'm all about comfort and I'm all about looking good. Not right now though, I'm obviously in my house, my humble abode, as you see, you know looking like crap but you know it's whatever it's for an assignment you know what i mean starting off with her hoodie this was a vetiment metal patch 2020 collection hoodie that they recently just dropped this week i believe so this i mean i'm probably ahead of the other fashion gurus in the youtube game even though i don't get as much views but yeah this this hoodie literally just came out a little less than five days ago just to say that's why I love this outfit so much. And she did end the outfit with the all black layer. Usually what I would do, she had the all black vetiment leather, leather pants and then the all black shoes to go with the outfit. It was just amazing. I'm Number four on the list, we have American model, India Marie. All honesty, I don't know what brand this bodysuit that she made is, but most likely it's her brand because She's been trying to release more stuff. She's more of a model. Like she models for Wilhelmina Models um, down in New York. I probably butchered the name. Wilhelmina? Um, whatever. She is, she is a beautiful woman. She does her own makeup. Shout out to her, man. She's really talented. And this whole look, man, I just loved it. Like the whole aesthetic of the picture. I mean, it just gives you this really cool, like Instagram-y type of Instagram model type of vibe, you know? Fifth and final outfit which is my number one outfit of the whole week. Yes, the Trap God, Lil Uzi Vert. 
<laughs> um, Lil Uzi Vert is an American rapper. He's from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, obviously one of my favorite rappers. I'm always playing him. We always bumping Uzi in the car. Hey man, just know. You meet me in real life, I'm either bumping Uzi, Cardi, Travis Scott, Gay, or myself. You know what I mean? This little Uzi outfit, I'm gonna break down, not by only the brands, but by the pricing. Since this is, you know, officially my number one outfit of the week, I do feel the need to break it down more than I have, you know, I feel like I've been just running through the rest of the outfits, you know. Stella McCartney sunglasses, 230 US dollars. He had a Fendi classic logo baseball cap, $450. A Fendi white FF tonal print cardigan, for 1,290 US dollars. Some slim fit Fendi cotton pants, $530. For riding to Fossil, they retail at about $320, I believe, but you already know resale price is about 1K. So the total for this outfit is, is about $2,820 to about $3,000. Depends on, you know, what his inner garments were looking like. But that is my Number one outfit of the week, Lil Uzi Vert. I've been Cesar the Vampire. This has been the top five outfits of the week. Go follow me on Instagram at Fashion for Vampires. F A S H I O N F O R V A M P I R E Z, not S. Follow me on Instagram and amen. Have a swell day because I know I will.